This time, Islamic Secrets will tell the story of United States President Advisor Robert Dixon Crane's conversion to Islam. Robert Dixon Crane, he is a convert from the United States who initially thought Islam was very bad. I never thought about Islam seriously. All I knew about Islam was that good Muslims had to kill Christians and that Muslim heaven was like a brothel. I was so sick of it, he said. Robert Dixon Crane is a graduate of Harvard Law School. He served as foreign policy advisor to President Richard Nixon from 1963 to 1968. As a presidential advisor, of course he must master various aspects of issues related to foreign policy. His main task at that time was to collect the best articles on each subject and combine them into a summary book for Nixon to read. He read various articles, one of which was about religion. He is interested in reading about various religions, and he wanted to know about Islam. At that time, I had read a little about Islam because I thought Islam would be the strongest and most durable ally of the United States against communism, because both of us, Nixon and I, saw communism as a world threat, said Crane. Crane admits that at first he never thought about Islam seriously. All he knew about Islam was that good Muslims had to kill Christians and that Muslim heaven was like a brothel. I am very disgusted and have never had the desire to study this religion. This religion is very primitive, and I advise Nixon to use Islam as an ally against communism. I think Islam is a disgusting religion, but at least it can be used to fight communism," said he explained. However, a banquet in Bahrain changed his view of Islam. It was the summer of 1977. Crane and his wife were in Bahrain. In the midst of such hot temperatures, his wife asked him to accompany her to see the palace in Al Muharraq, which is the oldest trading city in the world. This city only consists of narrow alleys, like a chaotic network of streets. The chaotic road conditions caused Crane and his wife to get lost in the crowd. In a confused state, suddenly an old man passed in front of him and took Crane to his house which was not far from his current location. Crane and his wife then spent the rest of their days there. The host entertained them with various kinds of food. We talked about various things, and he said he was a Muslim. I was really fascinated because he was a really good person. We never talked about Islam. We talked about the good things in the world, about the bad things in the world, and about what is important in the world. Also about God's role in the world, but not about the Islamic religion, he recalled. That moment really made an impression on him. After the banquet, Crane began to think about whether he should start studying Islam. He also studied Islam and realized that everything in Islam was truly what he had always believed. In 1980, he had the opportunity to attend a conference on Islamic movements in New Hampshire. All the great thinkers from the world Islamic movement were present there. When lunchtime arrived, Crane preferred to join the foreign guests. All he had in mind at that time was the desire to learn as much as possible from them. Without asking too many questions, Crane then followed the steps of the foreign delegates to a room whose floor was covered with a carpet. At first he thought they were going to have lunch. However, he just realized that it was Friday. They were going to perform Friday prayers. I decided it would be best if I left them, but I thought it would offend them. Then I just sat at the back of the room, he said. Acting as prayer leader at that time was Hassan al-Turabi, a leading figure in the international Islamic movement from Sudan. Watching al-Turabi prostrate himself, Crane was stunned for a moment. I realized that he was bowing to Allah. If he can bow to Allah, then that means he is ten times better than me. I decided that I should also bow down, he thought. He felt he got an example from there. At that moment, Crane prostrated himself and decided to become a Muslim. This is the most amazing story of conversion to Islam in America. That makes non-Muslims wonder why great people like him can easily accept Islam. Islam will be easily accepted by people who want to think and deepen it, and Islamic faith will be easily accessible by people who do not lie to the truth.